Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here today at the Rock Island Auction Company taking a look at an unidentified Mauser rifle. I don't know what exactly this thing is. I can show you what it says on the side, but it doesn't match any pattern that I'm aware of. So, having talked to some people and not really being able to figure anything further out, I figured this would be a cool opportunity to do a video on a gun that, well, I'm just not sure. Maybe one of you guys knows and can tell us. So, let's take a closer look at this. So we do know this is a Mauser 98 pattern of rifle. The question is, who made it, when, and why? And who did they make it for? Although I think we can answer that. So the first thing to take a look at is the receiver marking. And that is a very odd receiver marking that I have not seen before. I do not know what that indicates. On the right side of the receiver we have what is perhaps one of the most useful markings, and that is CZ29-53. Now, I've inquired about this, and I have gotten indications that there is in fact such a thing as a CZ29-53 pattern, but literally that's the extent of the information I've been able to find. On the left side of the receiver we have this marking, Haiti 1957. And normally you'd think that pretty much figure, you know, that pretty much tells you everything you need to know, right? Made by CZ for Haiti. Well, the rifles that Haiti actually acquired uh, were FN rifles, and, and it's a known type, um, and they are marked Army de Haiti, in French, on the side here with an FN, you know, Fabrique Nationale, Belgium, manufacturing, you know, uh, series of manufacturing marks right here on the side of the receiver. This is not typical. This is wrong, frankly, for a standard issue Haitian rifle. Making things more interesting, we have a couple of serial numbers here. The back of the receiver and the bolt are both numbered 10, as is the buttstock in nice big letters. This is a very crisp marking. Uh, this doesn't. These markings do not look like something that were just added by some random person. They look like they're you know, proper factory marks. And, in fact, that strange receiver crest is repeated on the, uh, the bottom of the stock. We also have this sort of X mark on the stock just below the barrel band. The sights are a pretty typical pattern uh, for a, a regular Mauser long rifle. Uh, I checked the bore. This is an 8mm bore, so while I wasn't able to like slug the chamber, I think it's a pretty safe assumption that it's chambered for 8mm Mauser. However, Haiti, at this time, if we assume 1957, Haiti was using .30-06, uh, in large part because of the extended previous American military presence in the country. So 8mm Mauser doesn't really make sense, and, well, for that matter, no 8mm cartridge would really make sense. The sling swivels on the rifle are set up in a dual configuration. So there's a sling swivel on the side of the wrist, as well as one on the bottom of the stock at the rear. And then at the front we have a swivel on the bottom, and a fixed sling bar on the left side. This would appear to be a, a setup uh, equally usable for cavalry and infantry. You can sling it across your back or over your shoulder. The sling itself appears to be French. This looks like a standard pattern French sling that could have been on a Labelle, a Berthier, or a Moss 36. Um, whether this is an original French sling that's just been put on the rifle, whether it was a sling that was put on in Haiti because they happened to have it, because of some French influence, uh, I, or whether it just happens to be the same pattern um, as a French sling, I have no idea. But you can see what the rifle is now. The question is, who, when, and why? Um, probably the most likely explanation would be uh, a CZ attempt uh, to market these rifles to Haiti, or a request from Haiti to get you know, a proposal for some rifle that they made something like a dozen of them, and submitted them, and they ended up having the sale declined. That's probably most likely. I would love to know more about what the heck that marking is supposed to be, or if CZ used it anywhere else. I am, of course, assuming that this is a CZ rifle, which don't know for sure. Normally there's not any good reason that they wouldn't have marked their name blatantly on the side of the receiver. So is it some sort of, you know, attempt at a covert, we don't want people to know where this is coming from thing? But in that case, why mark it Haiti? Why mark it with CZ on the other side? These are all outstanding questions that I simply don't have any answers to.
if you happen to have some knowledge of some trials gun that was tested by Haiti, or uh, or more knowledge on the CZ2953, if that's actually a thing, which I think it is, but I'm not really completely sure, uh, please, by all means, let us know down in the comments. It would be really cool to figure out what exactly this thing is. So, uh, if you'd like to see a little more information on it, you can take a look at Rock Island's catalog page. That has their couple of pictures. Uh, they don't really have a description, because they don't have this identified either. Uh, and also their value estimate. So uh, you can get that, you can get there on your own at Rock Island's website, or you can follow the link in the description text below, which will take you to ForgottenWeapons.com, and you can move along from there to Rock Island. Thanks for watching.